All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Organic's uh, latest couple of videos on his uh, channel. Looks like he finally got that slingshot, man. Finally, after almost two years, two years, man, he finally got that slingshot. My slingshot is finally in Miami. And it looks like he did another um, episode of uh, Organically Sinking. This time it's uh, with Mozzie VS. So we might actually uh, check that one out afterwards. But also, we found his uh, Ferrari 488 for sale. I don't know if you guys remember the 488 Ferrari, the black one with the uh, white interior. Um, he picked it up when he was in Malibu. So he had the uh, Ferrari 488. He had the Wraith. He had the McLaren 720S, the AMG GT, and then the... Um, I think he also had... No, it wasn't the Wraith. He had the Dawn, and he had the Lamborghini Urus. And he said the same thing, right? He crafted the same story like he did with the Lamborghini Urus. You know, he bought it, he sold it, um, and he made a profit or whatever. And I shared all these videos with you guys, the last couple of videos. If you haven't checked them out, definitely go check them out. Well, he did the same thing with this Ferrari. He said that he bought it, and he sold it, and he made a profit, well, we found the car for sale um, in Texas. So this is the video, my Ferrari 488 Spider. You guys can go check it out. It's the black one. Um, he didn't get it wrapped. He got tire stickers for it, and that was really it. Um, so it was black with the white interior. And pay attention to the date here. This is March 2nd, 2021. So this is the Carfax. Um, this is owner three. Organic was owner three, and um, this was right around four. April 5th, 2021 is when it was, uh, I guess, registered at the DMV in California, and it was registered as a lease. Another lease, man. And Organic literally, the same thing he did with the Lamborghini Urus, he sat there and told you guys that um, he bought it and he sold it and he made a profit. And um, I think he even said the same thing because I was actually uh, watching a little bit of the um, the new podcast that he dropped, the second episode, the one that I said we're going to check out maybe afterwards after the slingshot. I was actually uh, checking it out. I was driving somewhere and I had it playing um, just to check out, you know, the 25 million because he puts that, you know, that title 25 million. And that dude has been exposed. Mozzie. He's been exposed by uh, Spencer Cornelia. I don't know if you guys have checked out Spencer Cornelia's video. He dropped it a while ago about Mozzie. I don't think that dude is really making $25 million. I mean, he could be making $25 million and losing $26 million, but who knows. Um, so, yeah, so this is the Ferrari. This is Organics Ferrari. It's available for sale in Texas. And it was a lease. He never bought it like he said he bought it. But then again, Organic has lied about pretty much every vehicle. Um, I was going to talk about the Rolls Royce Dawn, which also got repoed. Um, but I was waiting for him to talk about it because that one has a pretty interesting story. And he said he was going to talk about it. I was going to give him, you know, a head start to talk about it. Um, but he never actually talked about it. That's kind of weird um, because the dude that brokered the deal, same guy actually that Organic sold him the uh the amg gt or i guess that was probably the only car organic actually owned is the amg gt because it was probably the cheapest one but yeah so the dude that brokered the deal between organic and the dealer in uh chicago that was quite a quite a story but i guess he never really talked about it. he didn't really want to tell you guys the real honest truth about that same thing with this ferrari it's a lease um got repoed but he's going to sit here and talk about he sold it and he made money. It's crazy, man. The dude lies so much. I don't get it. I don't know why he lies that much. But let me get into this video about this slingshot. He says he's going to rent it out. This thing is not going to make him a lot of money. It's all over Turo. It's pretty cheap to rent. I'm just going to walk you through Turo. It's pretty easy. 75 bucks a day. He's not gonna become a millionaire renting slingshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, I have no fear, Mr. Organics here. Haven't been to you guys in a long time, but I do got a slingshot back. Uh huh. Oh, finger fingers intact. 
God is great. Take a straight, I'm right here at the Organic Towers for greatness. You know what I'm saying? So let me go for my first, my first ride. Maybe you've been driving my car, man. It's cool, man. It's just... But yeah, we here, bro. I ain't, um, I ain't got time for this right now. Bad advice, man. But anyway, let me get this right. I'm gonna go for this room. I'm gonna go around the street. I ain't got my lights and everything set up yet. But yeah, we on it, man. I'm here, brother. Let's go. Let's go to Brooklyn. all right man that video that slingshot finally in miami that video straight ass for like the first uh first half of it i'm gonna jump to the part where he's actually at, on the balcony talking about and if you guys remember um in the last video that i did uh if you guys haven't checked that out literally the last video i did on mr organic i told you Go watch the video. I told you the next video Organic talks about he's going to be at the gym. And guess what? In today's video, he's at the gym, man. It's crazy. I predicted it. Um, but you you can see this slingshot, you know, because Organic loves to talk the talk. Um, this one is like $238, but this one has like six seats. So it's way different than Organic's. Um, so he's not all these people. Oh, well, Organic is going to rent it and he's going to make so much money. It's not. A slingshot is not a Ferrari, it's not a Lamborghini, it's not a Bugatti, it's a fucking slingshot, all right? He's not going to make millions of dollars, he's not going to even make a couple thousand dollars. Most of the people that have rented it out on Turo, um, like the most I've seen is probably like 70 rentals. 70 rentals is not going to make him $100,000 even a year. So, come on, people got to be realistic. Like, this thing is just like out of place, if you got a slingshot and you live in an area where there's no exotic cars at all, then yeah, you 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 definitely stand out. But you're in Miami, all right. There's people driving Bugattis, Paganis, like cars that are several million dollars, like a, a cheap slingshot that's like fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty thousand dollars. It's nothing, man. Like I don't know where these slow. He's like organics just. He knows, like, his followers. He preys on how slow they are and how stupid they are. But I just, I, I like to be transparent and show you guys you can rent this slingshot. It's not going to be wrapped like his. It's not going to have four Giada wheels. And he, he just, he got these four Giada wheels, like, two years ago. How come he ain't get four Giada wheels recently on the Aston Martin? How come the Aston Martin hasn't been wrapped since he got it? That's kind of questionable. Um, that's why I said in the last video, I think he probably that partnership with Ford Giotto probably fell off or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty odd that that's the only car so far, the Aston Martin, that hasn't had a wrap, hasn't had Ford Giotto wheels. I would think since he's a car-based channel and all his previous cars have all been modded the same way, then this one would have been modded the same. But it hasn't, so that's kind of bizarre. But we're going to jump to the part... Well, he's in the belt. I ain't watching this crap, but the first half of this video is ass. Morning. After the slingshot delivery, as you know, hitting that cold plunge. Same routine, man. I've been super locked in. Been off sugar for a week. Back on my campaign. And I've been doing, doing extra stuff. I've been doing cardio at night and silent at night. So I'm doing like two a days now. Trying to shred up like, like the old three of them. Trying to get on site. What did I tell you, man? I literally told you guys the last video, I said Organic's next video is going to be at the gym. Because that's all the content he has now. He has content. He has no content. He has no cars. He can't keep up with anybody. That's a car-based channel. Like, he's... CJ on 32 is pretty much shut down Organic's uh, channel. Like, Tall Guy, he kind of resorted back to what he was doing before, the whole car review stuff. He's kind of really copying that other dude, um forget his name uh he's another black guy he has a pretty popular channel that does car reviews the only thing i can remember is his channel name has like forest forest something forest some car reviews maybe i can like look it up while we're looking at this but organics channel is boy it's sinking like crazy forest car reviews i think some of you guys might know it yeah so it's forest auto reviews he's got 2.5 million subscribers you guys can look him up 
Forest. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's F O R R E S T. So F O R R E S T. Two R's. Auto review. So Tall Guy's really just copying that dude's swag. Except his vi videos are more lengthy; they're a bit longer. Yeah. So at least Tall Guy is resorting to something totally different. Work mode. You know what I mean? Appreciate everybody rocking with the campaign, man. Shout out to every single person that watched that last pod. Like I said, you know I'm really focusing, focusing, focusing on the podcast. Shout out to Stunner. Anybody want to be on the podcast? Anybody want to do partnership? Shout outs, promotion, anything. I got deals for everybody and anybody. On top of that, I want my podcast, of course, to get my organic taste on the world. But well, that's different because organic. When he had the top of the MOOC podcast with Tall Guy, he declined to have any small YouTubers on his podcast. He even said it on a live stream, and I got the live stream. Um, so now that he mentioned that, I'm going to actually play the live stream because he explicitly said he does not like to work with channels below him because they bring nothing to the table. That's literally what he said. He explicitly said that. So for him to change and say, I want to work with anybody, that shows me that he's really struggling. He needs that money. So he'll do anything and everything at this point. I want to definitely be a safe haven and a place for YouTubers to get on podcasts. That's what organically speaking is about because I'm seeing it ain't too. He wants to be a safe ha a haven for YouTubers to get on. Hmm, that sounds like Cali Muscle now. Cali Muscle wants to be the source to help everyone make money on social media, but he's not making money. At least not right now. Right now, Cali Muscle is not making money. This is why he is going hard on selling courses and selling mentorships and one-on-one -on -one counseling. He's doing everything he can to sell you the educational piece. And now Organic is like, oh, I want to be a safe heaven haven for all these small creators to come on the platform. That just sounds like what Cali Muscle is doing, what Josh Laurent is doing. They're just selling these educational bullshit. Um, Cali Muscle is barely making 3000 on YouTube even with 9 million views, all right? Somebody actually sent me a screenshot of Cali Muscle's uh, studio. He was actually, I guess, in one of uh, Cali Muscle's uh, live streams, and he saw it, and he sent it to me, and it was pretty crazy. With 9 million views a month, he's only making, like, barely $3,000. So it explains why these channels are now suddenly talking about educational and courses and mentorships is all this wild shit podcast is like dedicated to having youtubers and content creators on their podcast at a higher higher level so i want that to be my face and then everything else goes around it of course we still have organic sports um, organic culture um and all that type of stuff too but the main thing like i said i want to be the staple for like youtubers and content creators to come on the platform so okay, he wants to be a staple for these youtubers and content creators to come on the platform but somehow he doesn't really care about his brother so you want to help out everybody else that's what it sounds like, but this is the same guy that took a car from his brother to trade it in to get an Aston Martin so he can stunt in Miami. That that profile don't sound right. So you went to your own brother, took away a car that you gifted him, took it back, traded in, got an Aston Martin, and now you want to sit on here and talk about you want to help out content creators by coming on your platform? Like what? Does this shit make sense? Speaking, we don't go to the top level. I'm dedicated. I promise you guys at least once a week. No matter what, I'm giving you guys one once a week. As long as I don't know when, whenever I feel like doing it, I give it to y'all. But also, I still be giving you guys behind the scenes of the podcast when I got special guests and things like that. So, yeah, just grind it, guys. So, I appreciate you guys' patience with me. I'm excited to have a slingshot here, but we do have a dilemma. I got to figure out where I'm going to park it at because I got to get another parking spot. So, I got to work that out. So, y'all going to ride with me today um, to the podcast and then we're going to shoot. Um, I hit the cold plunge. And pick up a slingshot, go to the gym, and then go grab a fit because I, I ain't got no new merch to wear. But make sure I go to organicwhitestyle.com, support the campaign. Thanks for everybody that's buying the merch. The new drops did wonderful. Thanks to everybody that's buying this overpriced merch, man. When you got to spend $400, three, $400, a couple hundred dollars on these outfits, and no one knows who exactly one of them ones is, right? It's rare. Because he, no one knows him in Miami. Because think about it. If people actually knew Organic in Miami, then there would have been way more content creators. There's way more content creators 
social media influencers in Miami, and they don't even know him because if they did know him, I'm pretty sure they would have worked with him by now. He's been in Miami for quite some time. It's not like he just got there. He just got off the boat. He's been there for practically almost a year now. So somehow all these content creators haven't worked with him. And then he used to talk about Fresh and Fit. They used to hang out together, I guess, when they couldn't see any real value in hanging out with Organic. They bounced. Um, then he got a little bit on Wes Watson's dick. And I, I don't really like the dude Wes Watson. But even then, he didn't even have that dude. And I don't even think Wes Watson, when he even if Organic got him on his podcast... I don't think the dude really brings value. He just shouts all day, tries to sound like he knows what he's talking about. And that's just another character that sells courses. It's just weird that now everybody, you notice how all these like huge influencers are now all selling courses. Don't. This is what I don't understand with these people. Like these supporters and subscribers, they get scammed. They get fooled. You guys lose money. And you give it away to these guys that clearly don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They're not ever. These guys are not going to sell you something that's going to make you rich. I don't know why people are that stupid. Why are people this stupid that they really think if they buy into somebody's mentorship or somebody's course. Like if you join Organics Academy or Wes Watson's Academy or Cali Muscles Academy or Josh Lorenz Academy. You think. For some odd reason, you're going to make millions of dollars or you're going to become hugely successful. I don't know what these people think when they sign up for this bullshit. You guys are like, I don't I don't get it. Like, are people really that stupid nowadays? Are these subscribers really that dumb? Like, you guys don't see what's going on. Like, we've seen it tons of examples. Um, Actually, while we're talking about scams and shit like that. Um, well, this is not really along the lines of scams. I think we're going to react to a video. Um, shout out to uh, CoffeeZilla. If you guys don't know who CoffeeZilla is um, in this side of YouTube, most of you probably know. Um, I kind of reacted briefly to a couple of his videos, especially when he went hard on Logan Paul. But he dropped another video about influencers like the finance YouTubers. Finance YouTubers are also out of control. Um, like they promoted this bank and it's, it's pretty crazy. And again, all these stupid people, I don't get it. These subscribers and supporters, um, followers, they rushed and put their money in this bank. That is, uh, uh, it, uh, it was sold in the idea that one of the influencers, Graham Stephan was going to be, um, an investor in, and somehow all these people, Again, it's the same kinds of people that buy into these academies and mentorships. They rushed and put in their their savings. I, I heard people like put in 90000 15000 25000 And now there's a big, it's a hot mess. And people can't get their money out. And they're like, oh, what should we do? Well, shit, didn't you know that these influencers don't give a fuck about you? It's like, it's weird. It's like some kind of drug or something. I'm like surprised. I'm like, hold on. This can't be serious. Are people really this dumb? They fall for the stupidest stuff like this? This is wild. And they want to get in my comments. I'm like, oh, you're a hater. Bro, you're stupid. I'm trying to open your eyes, idiot. These people are not going to make you successful. You're not going to get rich joining Organic's Academy. All right? Nobody... That successful idiot is going to sell you their ideas on how to become successful. And they only do that when they're sinking. All right. Now they said, why wasn't organic when he was uh, with tall guy car reviews and they were getting like a couple hundred thousand views on their review video? Why weren't they selling courses on how on the sauce on how to partner with dealerships and get cars and then review cars? Why weren't they selling that shit then when they were on the on the on the incline? When they were elevating, why is it now suddenly when organic is barely getting like 20,000 views that now he wants to teach you guys all the sauce and stuff like that? Why is it when Cali Muscle is struggling with 4 million subscribers, struggling to get 100,000 views or 50,000 views that he suddenly wants to, in every video, talk about how to make it on TikTok, how to make it on Instagram? It's weird. Like, I, I thought people would be smart enough to notice that this shit don't look right. 
It's crazy. I mean, I thought people would have noticed it a long time ago when Organic took back a car that he gifted his own brother, his own blood, took that car, sold it, or traded in, which was also, um, a, that was a finance car. So he didn't own that car, even though he sits on here. I got millions of dollars. Uh, I got all these partnerships. It's like, damn, bro, you took a car away from your own brother trade it in got an aston martin just to flex and you want to sit on here and flex to us and now you want to sell us a course on how to become successful like what well miss you guys make sure you go there keep support it's very important but i gotta grab me a fit only other place that i like to wear clothes besides my own is kit you know what i'm saying kids that's the only place i have to wear so i'm gonna go there today I haven't been in one of miami grab me a fit uh, kid is probably a sponsorship see this is Organic, yo, the only place I like to shop at is Kit. Bro, you never wore Kit. That was a sponsor. And that's the other thing. Why does he not tell you guys this is a sponsor? See, when people want to talk about, oh, well, you don't talk about the white people. Because the white people get on here, all right? If you look at the Strad man, um, he does a lot of sponsorship. But he keeps it, he keeps it like, pretty straightforward. He says, this video is sponsored. Like, I was watching one of his videos. I think he he was one of the first people now to pick up the Revolto, the Lamborghini Revolto, the new one, the one that's going to replace the Aventador. Um, and he said this video is sponsored by, I don't know, some alarm company, like home residential alarm company. But he keeps it straightforward, all right? If you guys go to this website, use my code, Stradman, and so and so forth, you're going to get this amount off on your first order or whatever. And he's promoted several companies, but he lets you know. So I don't, people want to make it a race car, talking about black and orange and white and green. Organic sits on here, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go to Kit. Bro, just say Kit is paying you to promote their business. Stop getting, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Kit, man. You never shout out anybody for free. So we're not all that stupid. I don't know what's wrong with people. Podcast, uh, I'm dedicated to this. I'm dedicated to this. The view. Let's start off right guys. Three, y'all. So this is what I want to know, all right? Because some people are going to be like, oh, well, the slingshot, the slingshot was impounded. Uh, because if it wasn't impounded, then why didn't Organic take the slingshot initially and trade it in for the Aston Martin and finance the difference? Why did he not do that? Why did he have to take a car from his brother, that Challenger Superstock, and uh, basically trade it in to get the Aston Martin? Why didn't he just get the slingshot? Since the slingshot is his and he practically doesn't own that thing, he could have done practically the same thing. He paid pretty much... Uh, pretty much close to the same amount. Um, the slingshot was probably like fifty thousand, but he got it way before the um, before the super stock. Um, well, actually, no, he got the super stock before, but he got the uh, slingshot when he was in Malibu. So then he paid more for it and uh, was able to pay off more of it. So then he probably have more equity to trade in for the Aston Martin. But that thing was impounded because he probably owed money. Somewhere, maybe the IRS, something. I'm gonna ask it now, but I got this out here. Go ahead, uh, set that up. Okay, let's see what it's now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna crack it up. Set that up. I'm gonna ask it. I got this now. I got it out there. It's over. But this one, like the most perfect thing to have about here. I'm gonna watch it. Like that sun, look at the palm trees. Y'all see the, see the, man. Perfect dog. I'm gonna build on this while I'm here too. We're gonna have fun with this. It's the Gargoyle game. Damn. Uh, damn, man. Motherfucker got hit on school tomorrow, fucker, man. Shoot. Be careful, people. Get made back, man. Y'all be careful out here, man. For real. But workout done. I gotta run to this place. Get this fit. Big podcast. My dog, Goldie. And mind you, yes. 
Man, I literally told you guys in the last video that um, it's crazy. I literally told you guys that the next video organic is going to be at the gym because that's the only thing you can really do at this point. But um, let's jump into uh, the next video. Fear, Mr. Organic is here, and this is Organically Speaking. Let's get some understanding here. We got two top-level individuals, and I'm talking about at the highest quality, you know? These individuals that seen the world, that had all the cars, all the clothes, you know what I mean? Had all the hoes, whatever you want to be, they done did that, man. So I always like to speak to these type of individuals because we speak at the highest level. This is a one-to-one -one situation. I got my guy, Maz VS, the GOAT of sports betting. And we're going to break down his story, where he came from to where he at now. You know what I'm saying? How we ran each other, how we know each other, and of course... See, Organic loves to say that he's all about posi positivity now, but he's still calling women hoes and bitches. It's like he's still disrespectful. Like, there was a point maybe before in the past where um, I didn't even I wasn't even that disrespectful. Like, I, I don't remember even what I said about um, at the time he was dating Danielle Champion, and I was just like... Um, I don't even, I don't, it was something so petty, like in the way I described her, but it was nowhere, nowhere as disrespectful as calling her a bitch or a hoe. And he sits on here still. All right. And people are like, oh, he's changing. He's becoming a better, he ain't changing. He's fooling you guys. All right. He's obviously sinking. And when people start sinking, that's when they start acting. They change some of their habits or whatever, but he, he he changes it like for one or two videos or whatever, and he's back again. Like, who sits on here and calls women hoes and bitches like that? He literally just sits in here. All, all he thinks about when it comes to women is that women are just sex objects and they're hoes and bitches. And I, I it's cool to talk about that. You, it's cool to call women that kind of shit with your boys or whatever, but it's not... At some point, he's like, yo, you got to cut it out, man. He can't just sit on here and talk about, like, are we? Are, is it okay for us to call uh, organic sisters hoes and bitches? Is it okay? See, when people people get all offended, right, when you say, oh, is organic's mother a hoe and a bitch? See, it don't, it's not cool like that. But he sits on here and keeps on saying hoes and bitches, and these hoes and bitches are daughters, mothers, sisters, but it's it's okay for organic to sit on here and just casually and frequently say this shit. All right, cuz people don't talk about that. So organic can be calling if you got a sister right now, if you got a mother, whatever. Organic loves to call them hoes and bitches. Now, I know some people are like, "Oh, that's cool," but then you got to make up your mind cuz when I say some shit, "Oh, well, you that's so raw. You should have talked about somebody's daughter. Don't talk about that person's daughter." Well, Organic sits on here and talks about people's daughters as hoes and bitches. So what the fuck are you guys talking about? Oh, it's not cool to talk about somebody's children. It's not cool to talk about somebody's daughter. It's not cool to talk about somebody's girlfriend. But Organic gets away with saying hoes and bitches. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with these slow-ass idiots? One only goalie. So you already know how he's doing it. The man, the game got himself, man. Please get some understanding. Tap in with these guys. All the Instagrams, all the links will be below in the description. So first and foremost, Maz VS, how you living, my brother? Oh, uh, man, I'm good, man. Loving this Miami life. You already know. Oh, for sure. It's Miami different now, ain't it? Oh, uh, man, it's beautiful. I love it. Man, you know, that breeze, that ocean breeze, <laughs> the humidity might soak you up. But, oh, man, I love it. Yeah, but it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. Everybody need to come here. So where did you come from? Like, where was you born and raised? Uh, I'm from uh, Atlanta. Uh, so yeah, I came to Vegas uh, like 10 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't even gamble when I moved to Vegas. Right. And so, um, yeah, I turned like 50000 300000 I was hooked after that. Yeah, off so, the gambling. Yeah, off the gambling. I was sports band. That's I don't crazy. really do the table too much. Right. Straight sports band with me. Straight sports band. Straight sports band, yeah. So let's get some understanding. Once again, this is Mazi VS, the go to sports band. The boy got a big old billboard out there on the highway and all yeah, that. You and I'm, I've seen it personally. I go past that joint to go to my reflection detail, my rap shop. You know what I mean? So, man, legend in the flesh. And on top of that, I've been knowing him for about 12 years now. You know what I mean? I, I want us to take rap serious. I don't know why he talks about the billboard. Like, anybody can put their name on a billboard. All right. You can put your name on a billboard for twenty five hundred bucks. It's not like people act like, oh, he, he wants to glorify like being on a billboard is like so expensive. It's not expensive. It's, it'll probably cost you more money advertising yourself on social media now on Google AdSense, spending probably close to two, three hundred dollars a day to push whatever you're trying to push through social media and get clicks and all that. Being on a billboard is like a fixed fee. All right. And that shit don't really like it's just it's just a flex 
being on a billboard. Like, he be trying to act like, oh, you're on a billboard. CJ so cool paid to be on a billboard just to flex on people. So, and that shit is, like, kind of, like, outdated now. Being on a billboard isn't really, like, it's not, like, a huge, like, uh, achievement or something like that. Anybody can do it. You guys can do it if you want to do it, right? But I don't know why he makes it seem like it's a... And like I said before, um, Spencer Cornelia, if you guys don't know, Spencer Cornelia, who actually is Bo's Organic, right? Um, he also did a video on Mozzie and the sports betting stuff. All these sports bettors, I just take that shit with a grain of salt. Like, I don't really believe everything this guy talks about. Um, he doesn't, like, strike me as a really, really good top echelon sports better. Anybody can come on here and say they made millions of dollars. Talking is free. You got to know this, man. Social media, anybody can get away with saying any kind of bullshit on social media. People can come on here and say they made $500 million. It's all talk. I used to be on Warstar every week, you know what I'm saying? And I had a song called Swear to God. Remember that? Swear to God, yes, sir. That man hit me up like, hey, this shit crazy. I'm like, yeah. damn, I appreciate it, bro. And then he sent me some merch and stuff like that. And we was cool ever since. Ever since. Ever since. Yep. Even came to Minneapolis one time. Yep. Came to, came to Minnesota. Rocked out. It was a birthday. I think it was a birthday. It was my birthday. I mean, yeah, legendary times. Yeah, man. I was like 10 years. Like was, 10 years ago. Yeah. I was fat as hell then. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should switch it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Did Goldie know about that, yeah, man? You gotta know yeah, that helped us work, right? He got in shape. Yeah. yeah. People don't know how important that is, though, like, yeah. having money being cool, but if you ain't structured, you ain't feeling good when you, you know what I mean, wake up in the morning, that stuff will slow you down, like, 100%. you ain't, you, you know you got it, but it's like, damn, my physique ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's been a long, long day. On top to you, you know, you change your whole mode, that's, yeah. a, that's dope, bro. So, you knew Goldie, too, from back in the day, too, right? Yeah, I knew Gold, Goldie for a long time, before you, yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah, long time, yeah. Well, it was different living. It was different living, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, from that's the my beginning, guy. from the beginning. Yeah, that's my guy, too, Out there in Vegas. Out in Vegas, yep. That's living. dope. You know, you know, when you get money, you know, you, everybody know everybody when you, you know you get money. You know, you yeah. get money, he get money. Yo, y'all, y'all. Especially when there ain't no hate involved. Like no hate when involved. you saluting yeah. and you and you and you see another person doing what they do, yeah. man. That's a beautiful thing when real can you know recognize real and really yeah. re reunite and take it up to another level. Yeah. So that's dope, and then y'all still cool to this day. One hundred. And that shows the difference because most of the time you run to them up, but got some shit going on too. Eventually they disappear. You be like, damn, why did they act funny now? Yeah. Happened to me not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? With a dude, I thought it was cool, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. over a bitch, man. Uh, yeah, that's what I can say. Mozzie don't I ain't never acting funny with a nigga. You know, he dick balling now doing his thing. Nigga ain't never acting funny with me. Right. right. Yeah. He's like one of the first people I seen like with the with the hurricane kind of green joint. Yep. You see again, he said it. He said, Oh, me and this dude fell off because of a bitch. See, when he says it, it's cool, right? Like this is like I just gotta point that out, because when I talk about oh, um, so and so his girlfriend, you know did this or was on a live stream and whatever right oh don't talk about somebody's girlfriend don't talk about somebody's daughter you got this dude right here literally disrespecting women calling them bitches and hoes and i don't see anybody making a big fuss about it so the next time i make a video about so-and-so's daughter or so-and-so's girlfriend i'm gonna keep reminding you that organic gets on here and gets away with calling women bitches and hoes and sluts and um, all kinds of weird, like, disrespect. Like, I know it's cool and shit. It sounds cool because rappers say it, but Organic talks about positivity and changing. Ain't no positivity. Ain't no fucking bullshit positivity. He just gets away with saying the same shit, so I'm going to say the same shit, too. That was the Gallardo. I had the Gallardo. Oh, the Gallardo. Right? Yeah, that was back in the days. Yeah, I had the Gallardo. Man, I don't went through, like, three full Lamborghinis, man. Easy. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm SV and, uh, you know, SV and Venador. Right? Oh, yeah, you big a V. Yeah, SV with the, with the room, with the motherfucking yeah. numerals on that joint. Yeah. See, everybody yeah. got the initials on their Venador. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Goldie, a lot of motherfuckers got the regular Venador, yeah. which is cool. We ain't cool. But when you start adding that S, yeah, when you add that V, yeah. Yeah. you add that J, yeah. now you're there. You yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah. All that extra 100,000 on letter. Yeah, type. you got the rope. Why are you like, isn't that like kind of like him throwing shots at tall guy? Because Tall Guy Car Reviews had an Aventador. Um, and, the, and the interesting thing, I don't know if you guys knew this, but that Aventador, the white one, the one that he kind of wrapped in green afterwards, um, that was uh, Jasmine. Jasmine is the one that actually got him that car. I don't know if people knew that or not. Or again, uh, Tall Guy didn't get that that uh, Aventador by, because of his success on YouTube. Jasmine was the one that was paying for it. All right, Jasmine, the actress, the one that he's married to, um, he kind of reminds me, um, tall guy kind of reminds me, I don't know if you guys have seen the skit that uh, Dave Chappelle did where um, he got uh, Oprah Winfrey pregnant. I don't know if you've seen that skit. Go check it out. That reminds me, Dave Chappelle's skit when uh, he got Oprah Winfrey uh, pregnant, 
that makes me feel like tall guy when he first met Jasmine. It's real hilarious. You guys got to check it out yourself. But yeah, so it's interesting that Organic is throwing shots at people that have a plain Jane Aventador and you don't have any letters like the SV or the SVJ um, or the 63, the Aventador 63. That's a limited production one. Um, because Tall Guy didn't have a special edition of Ventador. He had basically the first generation. That's more time. Oh, you want to take the toupee off. Now you got to take the Beijing on that big. We really going dumb, you hear me? Because you got the roaster, right? You got the roaster, yeah. You got to add the roaster, yeah, go. Hey, 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 you got to let me know. When a nigga getting so much money, he just start doing whatever. This nigga rapping and shit now. Yeah. Hey, that yeah. Oh, yeah, you rapping? Oh, yeah. Uh, that shit hard, though. Oh, it, it is hard. It is yeah, hard, man. Yeah, 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 you talking that shit. Because when you can, you can. You know what I'm saying? Rich nigga do what he want to do. That's a fact. Like, and he uh, always been a real nigga. Cause like, I be playing like different songs that I don't have out. He be like, hey, send me that song, man. Yeah. I said it to him. Like, damn, thank you, bro. Yeah. What better song too? Is it Rich Talk? Rich Talk. Yeah. Rich Talk. Yeah. Mines vs Filthy Rich. Rich Talk. We going crazy. With Go that. stream that right now. Shout out to uh, Filthy Rich. Yes, sir. He out there in Vegas too, right? He out there in Vegas. I too, think he yeah. like tight beat the case. Whatever it was, he ain't doing no real time. Beat the case. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to a player, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. For sure, I love to have him on the pod too. Filthy come fuck with the guard. But uh, yeah, like. That's what it's about, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you got in the sports betting, right? You said you put a well, 50 ball in? I had 50. Man, I came to Vegas. I had like 50,000 to my name. I had 50,000 to Hummer. That's what I came to Vegas right. with. And, um, and I came out, and I was pretty much, you know, uh, yeah, man, I had 50,000. I just started gambling. And sports betting, I was hanging with one of my guys. He's sports betting. And right. I pretty much like, damn, I've been, you know, I've been in the sports since I was four years old, playing football, baseball, every sport. Right. So, you know, I knew sports. Right. And, um, yeah, man, that was it. Once I... It was it took me like two, three weeks to, you know, turn fifty thousand, three hundred thousand. I was hooked after then. Oh yeah. And you know, I started posting my tickets and everybody started wanting my, you know, plays and that's how I started you know, I started the sports consulting business. That's so dope. yeah. So you start the sports consulting business because you okay, you won, showing your tickets. And then people hitting you up like, damn, where do you yeah, been? Exactly. So as a hustle to you are, you like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lucrative situation. Yeah, yeah. You wanna know what I know. 100. You gotta pay to go through the toe. One hundred percent. Damn, that's hard. Yeah. So when did you start that? Like, okay, this is my thing, Mozzie Picks, this is my consultant. Hit me up, boom. And it kinda bro, it just they just wanted it. So it honestly, it wasn't even that I even wanted to do because I was making so much money just being on my own games. I really wasn't really worried about trying to sell the plays. Right. But they wanted it so much, so it kinda made itself. I didn't even really it wasn't a business like I was like, okay, I'm gonna start this business. Right. It came. It forced they upon wanted you. it. They wanted it. You know? I did that a few times. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, um, I started the honey business. Remember I selling honey and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, a little Russian chick put me on this. I had like allergies, right? She was like, if you eat local honey, it'll boost your immune system and you won't be sick. So I used to be on my YouTube with local honey, eating that motherfucker. Yeah, you know, clean the pee now too. You know, get my freak off, talk yeah, to yeah. him. And everybody, I need some honey. I knew a bitch. Man, Organic is such a liar. It's crazy. He literally switched up that story about that honey. Because that's not the same story. He literally, this is a totally, he literally changed this whole story. He says, now, oh, well, now I knew a the bitch, right? Again, he knew a bitch, a Russian bitch that told him to get some honey. He, he literally changed that whole story. If you go what, back and watch some of his older videos, it's it wasn't, no, there was no Russian bitch. There was none of that bullshit. This dude had no other real income source. Um, and he was actually working at a shop producing his merch. He, he's been always bouncing from shop to shop to shop to get his merch done and if you guys remember right he wasn't like recently right people oh he works with pure he wasn't he hasn't been working with pure only recently those two middle eastern guys or whatever at first he was working with those latinos on a fashion in the fashion district in california those were the ones um i think they're called rhino 3d they were the ones getting all his merch and organic was supplying it through these Chinese manufacturers. So he's, oh, well, the honey was a Russian bit, man. Stop lying, man. He lies so much, it's crazy. New bitch that had a farm in Wisconsin, like right outside of Minneapolis. I said, I got my own. Everybody asked me, where the honey from? I got my own. I didn't have it yet. On some goddamn Frank Lucas shit. I'm going. I went all the way out to Wisconsin. It's on my YouTube and all that. Now I got the B suit on all that. Getting the motherfucking honey. I start selling that shit. $50 a jar. Nigga, I, I probably it. made about 50 racks on honey. I love it. So when the hustle comes, it just comes. We're going to go get it. Yeah. What's the coldest hustle you ever had, Goldie? Like, like? It was no Russian bitch. He was actually with the girl that he was taking advantage of that actually worked it. She did like, um, she did honey a uh, wholesaling. And then he actually, he, he didn't get his own honey or whatever. He was just buying honey at a cheaper, um, at a cheaper price because he was buying volume from a, um, a wholesaler. That's what they call it, a wholesaler. So he wasn't, oh, like, I got my own, my own bee thing and I wore the suit. Bro, you just wore the suit because you wanted to wear the suit to per, put on this clown 
image for the people, right? It's not, this dude be lying like crazy. You guys know damn well you just can't get into the honey business. You just can't get in the kettle business or cattle business or whatever. That's not how it works. I mean, unless you get a farm and all that, it doesn't work like that. Oh, he didn't just go get some honey because he knew a Russian bitch. Like, he'd be lying so much like he does now with the with the clothing and stuff. Oh, this is high quality. It ain't no high quality shit. You work with these two Middle Eastern kids. You were working with the uh, Hispanic couple before on the fashion district. And before that, you were with the Chinese couple. And they were all buying. They're all buying the same cheap ass shit. They just put your cheap ass logo on it and sell it for two, three hundred dollars. And all these fools fall for it. With no, like you made some good bread on. Man, I can't talk about that on here. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, talking for mine. You know, that's how I always got my money. Ain't nothing better than that. When your mouth is a product, you right? Know, you ain't got. You ain't got to get something and then sell it and you know ship it off. You know, when you talking for yours and you just get it like that, man. That's the best hustle in the world. For sure. Facts. People don't understand. It. That dude, Goldie, like, he just gives me the vibes that he's full of shit. He just gives me, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, my, my vibes are from him talking. He's he, he just full of shit. Oh, I can't, I can't talk about how I got money. Oh, well, if you can't talk about it, then you're full of shit. No one attribute I tell people all the time. You could be tall, you could be in shape, you could be fat, you could be ugly. If you got a mouthpiece, brother, they're going to get you right where you need to be. Hey, the ugliest yeah. niggas in the game had the most women. No question saying? about they it. They had so. the best mouthpiece because they ain't had a look, so they had to develop that mouthpiece. Right. And people don't understand that. And you, I try to convey that to people all the time. Like, how oh, you got so much kind of... Because I got it. Like, I, like, I can't give it to you, brother. Yeah. You're either born with it or you're not. Simple. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that one of the ones or in your soul. You, got to, you can't go to the store and get good looks, charm, and careers. You, you, you got to be... Hey. You got to go... You, oh, I can tell you how to do it. Yeah. Die and get reincarnated. Hopefully, you don't turn to a goddamn <laughs> turtle or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You might mess up, come back goddamn cow. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, just, just work on what you got. You know what I mean? Use your attributes to turn up. So, boom. Mozzie picks. Mozzie what's, picks. The, what's the biggest, like... When you had to see you put up M's, yeah. I done seen the motherfucking money stack. Yeah, man, I, man, I did, man. Last year I did like twenty five million. Like last year, they, they, that yeah, was crazy. But the biggest win. Um, hold on, brother. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me <laughs> say. Anybody can, like I was saying earlier, anybody can come on here and say I made twenty five million dollars. And anybody that has a brain, all right, and you had any kind of business, you don't even have to have a business. Maybe you manage the business. Making twenty five million, that's just it's all talk. Any company can say I made twenty five million, I made fifty million, a hundred million, two hundred million. Then you also got expenses. You got overhead. You gotta pay people, right? That's all part of your expenses. So when people sit here and try to glorify the amount of money they made in revenue, that means nothing unless that's twenty five million in profit. All right, if you made twenty five million in profit, that's a different story. But that just sounds like he made twenty five million. He doesn't talk about. He's not gonna get into all the details. And then again, everybody that talks like this is why I say I just take this stuff with a grain of salt. But organic is gonna try to glorify it in the title, and then all the fools are gonna fall. Oh, okay. Let me go over there to Mozzie's page, and then uh, let me buy some sports betting. Man, this is how you know people are really stupid. I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? Economy down, they, 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 they don't even want me to bet no more at the Bay. They, they, they didn't ban you they for didn't the Bay MGM. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, they don't want me to bet no more with them. They didn't. They don't ban me and everything. So yeah, it, it, it is what it's. I hit them for like two million for the, on the Chiefs on the Super Bowl. Yeah. After that, they told me, hey, don't we don't want you don't want your business no more. So, yeah, yeah. We can't glaze over that twenty five million, brother. Yeah. So that was your biggest year. You think you made? Last year, yeah. That was that was one of my biggest years. Yeah, twenty five. That was it was a little bit over twenty five million, but I like to just round it off. Yeah, round it off sounds sweet. Yeah, yeah you want them to know it's yeah, a quarter. Yeah. Twenty five M's. Twenty five wow. M's. Uh -huh. Straight off, straight liquid, straight off the money. Liquid, yeah. Man. Yeah, I was tan Bellagio. Well, I, they know me in there. I was, they were coming in there. I was, I was tanning them up. I didn't see you coming up with a wheelbarrow yeah, yeah, motherfucker yeah. with the money. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah do it yeah, to them. Yeah. So, and then people start, you know, buying that consultant. How's that been going for you, too, for a business uh, man, Yeah, I've been doing that for a while, man. Uh, man, it's, it's automatic. They love me, man. Uh, I got clients making a whole lot of money. Um, you know, I got VIP players. I got exclusive players. And, yeah, I got all types of clients, man. I got, you know, from small clients to Shaq. Tiger, I got everybody on board. Yeah, shout out to Shaq, man. Yeah, Shaq, Shaq a good guy, man. He Shaq a good guy. Personally. Yeah, he cool. That's one of my clients. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of people on board. Yeah, man. Yeah. Everybody into that, man. You ever been in sports betting? Nah. Yeah, me either. I mean, yes, I am. I'm playing. I mean, matter of fact, this nigga did give me a couple picks back in the day. Oh, I, really? think yeah. I think it was a Super Bowl bet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So everybody been on the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. See, everybody, everybody want to be on the Super Bowl. So, yeah. I, yeah, I like You notice how organic caught himself? Like, he said, oh, I haven't been doing any kind of betting or gambling, right? And then he caught himself. He said, oh, no, but I had DraftKings. No, you also had my bookie. You promoted my bookie, and that's another company. That's actually the video that Spencer Cornelia first dropped on Organic, 
and the risks with uh, promoting certain types of businesses. And Spencer was talking about my bookie, which organic promoted to his followers. And they have a really bad history of taking advantage of people. Um, and it's just, again, another gambling platform that promises you guys will make all this money. And then most more than likely people lose money. So it's it's weird that organic just literally lied here several times not only he lied about the honey but now he lied about the sports betting and all that other gambling shit it's crazy but we're gonna wrap up here um i think in the next video we would probably just react to the rest of this organically sinking that's what it should be called organically sinking man but let me know what you guys think in the comments man what do you think about this so far